Welcome to day one of the back to school blitz. Remember, this is for kids, this is for adults, this is for all of us. We are all getting ready to head into the fall. We want to be as prepared as possible so that we can be productive in the fall. And today we are gonna kick off the blitz where we always do in talking about your clothing. Do you remember what it was like when you were going back to school and you got a brand new pair of shoes? Oh my goodness. You wanted to wear them and your parents said you have to wait until the first day of school and you so wanted to wear your brand new pair of shoes. This is where we're going to start. Do you have a pair of shoes that you love to wear to work? You love to wear to school? Let's start with that. I buy a brand new pair of shoes each year that I then wear like, I don't know, 250 out of the 365 days of the year. Getting a good pair of shoes that fits you, that feels good, that um, is, is just essential. So go ahead and get yourself a brand new pair of shoes. Now after that, let's talk about the rest of your closet. <clears throat> when you are going to school, you need to have a uniform whether that is a uniform because you're in Catholic school like I went to, or it's just a self-ascribed uniform. What do you look and feel great in? This is our organized 365 uniform. Here at the office, we have uh, sweatshirts, we have little organized 365 t-shirts. We know that if we throw this on, we're gonna look great anytime we go into the office. You can wear other clothes if you want, but when this is clean, I love to just throw it on and wear it, wear it to work. So what do you wear on a regular basis to school or to work? Do you have pants that fit and look good? Do you have enough pants to get you from Monday to Friday? It may be five pairs of pants, maybe three pairs of pants that you wear twice a week. Do you have enough bottoms? Your skirt, whatever you wear on the bottom, do you have enough bottoms? And do you have about five tops and maybe one good sweater or jacket that you like? That is the basics for your wardrobe for school and work during the week. What kind of a uniform do you want to wear? What looks and feels great on you? Now, the best way to figure this out is not to go to the store. I repeat, it is not to go to the store. The best way to figure this out is to go through your current closet. What are the clothes that you grab out and you want to wear all of the time? They feel great because they don't have a tag in the back. The tag is actually printed on the clothes or they just seem to match the shape of your body. And when you put these clothes on, you look and feel great. So for kids, kids who are getting ready to go back to school, this is a great time for you to go through your entire closet and your entire dresser, try everything on. Everything that doesn't fit is never gonna fit. Go ahead and donate that or give it to a younger sibling or someone else that is in your family. And then figure out what fits you well, what colors look best on you, what style of clothing do you like best, and then make your shopping list to match what you need to wear for one week of school or work. One week of school or work where if you do the laundry on the weekend, you have enough clothes to get all the way through the school week and the work week will really, really add productivity to your list. So specifically for kids, now let's talk to kids. It is time for you to learn what do you like? If you're in the kids program, you know we have five different lessons where I talk just about clothing, how to figure out what are your favorite clothes, why they're your favorite clothes, how to talk respectfully to your parents about why you like those clothes versus maybe some of the clothes they're buying that you're never wearing and they're frustrated that you're never wearing them. So let's look through our clothes in our last seasons, get rid of what is not working, keep what is, and buy more of what you like. You don't need as much variety in your wardrobe as you think you do. You need enough to get through a full week of school and work without doing laundry. That is our goal. Going back to shoes, I want you to go through all your shoes, anything that's too small, too tight, too tall, too whatever. Like get rid of all the shoes that pinch your toes or, or give you blisters. We don't need those shoes anymore. Having two or three pairs of shoes that you love will get you through the fall. So one pair of shoes that you'll wear almost every day, like your school shoes or your go-to work shoes, a good pair of tennis shoes or athletic shoes, and then maybe a stylish pair or an alternative pair of shoes. If you have three pairs of shoes, that is plenty of shoes to get you through a whole season. And then let's think about what we like to do outside of school and work. And that would be our hobbies or our athletic wear, or if you're in any kind of sports. 
whatever sports you're in, you obviously have the uniform, but we have a lot more practice games than we have uniform games. So do you have at least two clothing sets, complete sets that you can wear for practice? The shorts, the shirt, the uh, socks, everything related to what you would wear for practice. Do you have two complete sets of that? So again, if you're gonna do laundry on the weekend and maybe once during the week, you wouldn't have to do laundry every single night. Make sure that you have all of that and then create a sport bag for every single sport that you're in. So I was in gymnastics. I was not very, I was not into many sports at all. So I was in gymnastics and I was in ballet. And so I would have a ballet bag and I would have a gymnastics bag and I would have my leotard in each one and the tights and the shoes that went with that in the bag clean at all times. There are two ways you could do this. You can have extras at home and put the clean ones in um, after you have dirty ones. Or what I would do now if I was redoing it is at the beginning of the week, I would put both sets of clean things in the same bag. I would put both clean um, leotards and tights and shoes in each bag. And then when I got ready for uh, whatever practice, I always came home in my practice clothes. So it's not like I took my dirty practice clothes out and put them back in my clean bag. So when I came home, I would take everything off, put it in the laundry, get in the bath or the shower, get my pajamas on and get ready for bed. If you do the same thing and you put both of your clean practice clothes and uniform clothes in your bag, you might need a little bit bigger of a bag. Then when you get to practice, put on your clothes, come home, throw them in the laundry, take your shower or bath. Next day at practice, you still have another pair of clean clothes, put those on, throw those in the laundry when you get back. And then let's say you have a game on Thursday night, you already have your game clothes in there. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, as long as there's anything like your shoes are gonna have to go back in the bag. So you only have one pair of ballet shoes or you know one pair of soccer cleats or whatever it is. But other than your shoes and your shin guards, the clothes that you wear should be able to go in the laundry multiple times. And then on the weekend, you just fill the bag up. So get a little bit bigger of a duffel bag, throw your deodorant in there, put an extra hairbrush in there, get duplicates of things that you need during the week when you're at practice, when you're at school and you have gym class or anything like that so that you don't have to remember to keep moving a hairbrush that can cost like $3 from your bathroom to the bag and the bathroom to the bag, get an extra deodorant, get one that you just keep in your backpack, get one that you just keep in every sport bag that you have should have its own deodorant in there. Just buy a set of deodorant and keep them in all those different places. Okay, so that's your shoes. That's your sports gym and exercise bag. That's your general closet and that's your adult closet. You guys, there's a great checklist that you can get at organize365.com slash blitz, which you probably already have because you are watching this inside of the Organize 365 app. If you're watching this afterwards on YouTube, you could go to organize365.com slash blitz and be ready for the next blitz we have. We have four per year. We are starting, this is day one of the back to school blitz. We have a holiday blitz in the fall. We have an out with the old blitz right before you go from the last week of December before you go into the new year. And then the adult spring break blitz starts in the spring. See you guys tomorrow.